okay I'm back um, we pretty much melted the, the uh, plastic ring on the toroid so my windings are pretty much scattered around and loosely wound um, right now I've got A tied together and B tied together I've got them hooked in parallel with the input I'm pulling about 3 amps on the nose and 40 volts and my time was 121 for a um, liter of gas. Uh, this motor is actually spinning really well and it was spinning faster when I started this up. I've left the motor running because um, I want to see what the output's doing. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off the motor. So I can get this camera still. I'm going to shut off the motor. I'm plugging this. So the amp draw drops down a little bit, but not much. So I mean, it's pulling some, but it's not pulling a ton. So I'm not going to count the uh, MMW rating, of course, with the motor running. But uh, one liter, 120 watts um, in a minute 21. Uh, let's see, I did a test on this. A little while ago and it was nothing near that so I must be getting some effect from the coil right now I'm gonna go ahead and do one more test on this and then um, I'll disconnect the coil and run the test again and see what I get okay so we went a few seconds over the last reading um, but we're right around we're less than 150 watts at 124, which is 84 seconds, so 60 divided by 84, it's going to be uh, 7.14, so 714 milliliters, and divide that by our watts, let's just say 122.4. Seconds. So that's almost exactly two liters a minute at 360 watts, 45 volts, 8 amps. Two liters, okay? I'm going to disconnect this and see if the amps drop. It drops, but less than an amp. So we'll leave it hooked up so I can hear that. Bring this up some more. Okay, um, let's try and hit something with resonance. Not going to happen with 60 hertz, but something. No heat. I'm not sure what I'm smelling, but there's no heat there. Filling up pretty quick. And stop. Okay, I'm going to turn it down because I got smoke coming off my test lead. And the test lead is actually not rated for any kind of amperage, so we'll stop the test there at 20 seconds. That's three liters a minute. Exactly 20 seconds. 
our amps was 8. Wait, our amps was 12. say 12, it's less now, but we'll go with 12. Okay, so it was 12 amps, 50 volts, that makes 600 watts, and 3,000 milliliters. Ooh, that looks like an even number. 3,000 divided by 600, it's 5. It's an MMW of five. I don't know. Let's see. I do. Know. The last test I did with that at those amps and volts, I had 50 volts and 16 amps, 800 watts, and got a 4.4 MMW. Um, 50 volts, 11 amps, I got a 4.7 MMW, which is probably the closest one I have to that. 50 and 11, 50 and 12, almost the same wattage. Uh, this did it three seconds faster. So, MMW ratings are not much different with the toroid connected the way that it is. Uh, but now I'm going to do the same test with the toroid disconnected. Sixty watts. Thirty two seconds, so it's almost identical without the toroid connected. shocked if I try to attach this while it's running. No. But no noticeable difference. The amps don't drop. 